Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for our weekly update with head coach Mike Babcock. And coach, the Bearcats got off to a strong start in their 2015 season this past Saturday. Hosting College of Faith, Bearcats rolling to a 68-0 victory. More so than the outcome, probably important for you to get a look at as many guys as possible. Lots of players getting reps, third, second and third teamers getting in, and probably a good overall assessment of your team. You know, we really wanted to come away, you know, obviously with the victory first, that, that's first and foremost, but, uh, you know, really getting those kinks out, those first game kinks, and I think we, you know, were able to do that. We had a chance to, to play a lot of players, um, and especially those backups, like you said, to get them game experience, especially early on, will hopefully help us uh, later on uh, during the season when injuries start coming into play uh, and guys start moving up and down the, the roster. Um, guys will have uh, some good game experience. You touched on injuries too. A good thing also the Bearcats came away relatively injury free from that contest. You know, I mean, anytime that uh, you can uh, step away from a game and not have, uh, you know, crucial season ending injuries is, is always a plus. You know, last year uh, early on that was something that plagued us, you know, a little bit on both sides of the ball. Uh, not just the first game, but in the first couple games losing a couple key guys. But um, you know, anytime you can stay injury free, it, it helps the program. The road gets real for the Bearcats this week as they make the nine-hour trip east to take on West Liberty University. It's a first-time opponent for McHenry. Uh, their first game this past Saturday, they pulled an upset over the number nine team in the nation, Concord University. Uh, last second field goal, 28-29, or excuse me, 29-28 was the score as uh, the Hilltoppers pulled out the victory and. Uh, Talk a little bit about what you know about the Hilltoppers. Well, I mean, this is going to be a great test. I mean, a great test. Not just playing a great opponent, uh, but to be able to do it on the road. So it takes a lot of mental focus. It takes mental toughness uh, to be able to, to go to another place and to be able to beat a football team. So um, I've got a lot of respect for the for the Toppers. You know, they, uh, they came away last week and, and were uh, gung-ho and beat up on a, on a highly, highly ranked football team. Again, this is a good football team that we're coming into. They blocked a, a punt for a touchdown. Uh, there was a safety late in the game. They recovered a, a, a squib kick on, on kickoff. There was a lot of things that went their way. But more importantly, they played all four quarters and uh, really gave Concord everything they got and ended up coming with the, uh, with the win. You take a look at some of the numbers that were put up in that ball game. The toppers had the ball nearly 40 minutes in that contest, a two-to-one edge in time of possession. That's going to win you a ball game anytime. They run 98 offensive plays, and they also forced, I believe, three or four turnovers against Concord. So really, it was a truly team effort. You mentioned the special teams, the block punt, as well as the game-winning field goal. Absolutely. You know, anytime you have 98 plays on offense, you know, you're probably doing something good. You know, they want to run the ball. They want to run. They want to play action you. They're not afraid to throw it when they need to. Uh, they're an overall, you know, good offense. They've got big guys up front. They want to, you know, really try to pound you. Number seven, their tight end, uh, is probably one of the best tight ends I've seen on film. Uh, again, they do a great job uh, offensively of just controlling the clock, controlling the ball, and uh, really grinding on team. So, like I said, it'll be a great test for us. Talk about the test. Really a good assessment of what your ball club will be able to do this year as the starters uh, played uh, into the second quarter in this past Saturday's game and really a, t a time where the Bearcats are going to have to play 60 minutes, like you said, to beat this Hilltopper squad. Absolutely. You know, it, it really doesn't matter how long the ones are in there as long as they get the job done. And uh, it will be a full, you know, four-quarter, 60-minute game, in, in my opinion. Our offense is going to need to execute. We're going to need to, you know, uh, Control the control the clock, but more importantly, get first downs. You know that was something that we actually struggled in a little bit last week was converting on third down. Um, we need to keep drives go drives going, get the defense off the field. Um, you know, and, and score points. Most importantly, score points when we're out there. So uh, <laughs> here's a test. Here it comes. Good early season test for the Bearcats. Good luck this week. We'll catch up with you after the ball game. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Don't forget you can listen live to the McHenry West Liberty Contest on the Bearcats Sports Network at www.mckbearcats.com slash watch. We'll be on the air with the pregame show beginning at 11.45 a.m. East, uh, Central Time. That's 12.45 Eastern. Kickoff 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Central. Don't forget that's on the Bearcat Sports Network.